Mm, G'day Tragic here and welcome back to Horror on the Orange Express. The Kickstarter is still going for this. This is the Kickstarter demo. Let's get into it. First, uh, I'm going to try and go a little bit quicker. I've been having some problems with Tabletop Simulator crashing with this mod for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, I forgot to move that train, so I just moved him forward. And also, see this thing here? Uh, I've been reading this wrong. I've been reading it for each ritual PowerPoint. You basically do the whole card. But there's been a post on the Board Game Geek forum in the rules section from the designer, and it's actually for the only for the next point in the card, for the next action phase or whatever of the card. So in this case, it's the add one all the way down to leftmost is a single block, and that's what repeats from the PowerPoint. And the little faces down the bottom, that only happens once. And he did like a little graphic to demonstrate it, and it's the same for all the cards. So like if I, this one here, but each ritual PowerPoint is just that first line sending people panic, and then one of the panic people turns into an insane. Okay, so this one here, discard the first leftmost vampire strength tile. That is for each ritual PowerPoint, and then only once do we have the insanity thing happening, right? So that was done wrong, which means one of these guys is actually panicking because he doesn't change. Now, I've been having a bit of crashes, so this time I'm going to save after every turn. Now, this bloke here, she just did a rest. She's got calm down, so we're definitely going to use that. So we're just going to go blam for calm down. And she's going to go one, two for a move. And we're going to send both these people calm. Like so. And that uses one, two. Uh, one and the cube, and she's got one more turn. So I think she is going to do another. Uh, I think she's going to open the window. Bam. There you go. Now let's draw your blonk. It is a block. Handy. And now the train moves. Bonk. Now it is the gunslinger. Now the gunslinger, we really need to deal with all these monsters. Now he's already there. So I think he's going to have to do this. In a carriage with an open window, choose up to two, either with a happy face or a angry face. In each of these, push zero. So... This is a happy face, so he's going to push zero. That gets pushed off. This guy turns into an angry face. Uh, actually, it turns into a wounded. It's a bit worse than I expected. And then I'm going to go banish twice. One, two, and I banish twice. And he's out. Nice. And now we get to draw again the Yablamo. It is a third power thing. So let's do the things. We've got green, blue, and red spawn. So there's a green here. The window is not open, otherwise, we move. And we send one of these people into a panic. Send this person into a panic. They hear the horrible howls. And then we have a red guy spawn. There's only one red portal. So bam, up he comes. Now the vampire attacks. So the vampire is over here. The window is open. There is only calm and happy. So calm gets wounded. And then the move is to the right. Blamo. Okay, this one does nothing. This one adds a ritual token, like so. Bam, bam, bam. And then both these people come out of limbo back over here. Not good. Okie-do, and then the train moves. 
So now we've got this bloke. I feel like it's time for us to start moving a little faster, maybe. I'm just worried about, uh, because I feel like we're making very good progress. We've already got one cultist. We kind of know that this person is probably a cultist because there's a lot of purple left. We can find out whether these guys are cultists pretty easily by just seeing if they have the, the goblet. Because basically, if that's not a goblet and that's not a goblet, then the entire level two and level one can be cut off. So I think we're pretty close to figuring out. So I, I think maybe speeding up the train might be a good idea. Uh, anyway, so this guy's go. Where is he? He's next to the chef. Chef has nothing. He can't talk to anybody. He can't push anybody. You know what I might do? I'm just going to go one, one energy, and then we're going to do a talk four to a happy or a panicked, and then we can change someone's state to angry. So we're going to do a talk four. One, oop, two, three, oh dear, that's not good. Four, oh my God. Okay, so then finally we have a bad job. Oh my, <laughs> come on. Oh, dude. Well, that was a terrible draw, wasn't it? Uh, so we actually, this is the first time we've actually had a conversation that scared someone. So on a fail, what happens is nothing on a fail. We just get the bad effect here, which makes someone panic. Now, I guess it's the person we actually spoke to goes to panic. No, because... We can all actually talk to a panic. Like, I can't change him to a panic. I just change him to a panic. That was terrible. And then for his final action, he'll uh, go one, two into this carriage. Bam. Okay, let's draw. Boom. That's a luck. That just basically does nothing. And now this girl's turn. Hmm. Wow, that was a terrible, <laughs> terrible. Oh, wait, and we've got to move the train, which reveals this stuff. Okay, so there's one possessed character. So we get one, two, three, and one extra there. Ooh, lots of spawning monsters. Now, this person's turn. Okay, so she's going to also do a conversation. So this is a talk three versus a happy person. Come on. Bam, bam. Oh my God. Wow, we are having terrible luck. Uh, and then she's going to use her ability twice. We're going to send this one up. And I'm going to send this one up. Wow, this is not good. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. Oh no, that was just horrendous, those turns. Oh man, what are we going to do here? In the sanctuary, move one from a chosen. If there is at least three of these people in your cart, remove another one. So, there's the sanctuary. So that's one, two into the sanctuary. And we're going to talk four. Come on. One, two, three, four. Oh, what is going on with my drawers? Finally. Come on, bad luck's got to stop. Let's keep going. Push it. Okay, we're gonna go one more. Bammo. That's another ticket, excellent. 
Okie dokie. So we're going to reveal a want. So let's reveal this want here. Right, so that is not a goblet, which means he's very likely not a suspect. Just search the deck, find the... There it is. That's his quest, or his desire, I should say. And now we have this one here, which is a train ticket. And let me have a look here. This guy has one, two, three, four revealed. So this guy is not a cultist. We know for a fact he's not a cultist, right? This is revealed, this is revealed, this is revealed. This is the only purple. He needs four purple. And we know he, ha uh, unless this thing here is a, okay, so we're gonna reveal this, bam. It is not Constantinople, right? So we know for a fact that he is not a cultist. Nice. Okay, so that's that done. So the reason we know he's a fact that he's not a cultist is because even if that's the goblet, he still won't have four purple. Now. What do we do? Do we want a PowerPoint or do we want another? I, I've been really enjoying the artifacts. I'm gonna take another artifact. This is interesting. Lose a sanity, moves a chosen suspect to your cart and use their skill without spending their favor. Does that mean they still need the favor activated? I kind of think it does. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so she's done talk four and then she's gonna do one and then turn this person happy using her ability here. This guy is going to banish twice. And then he's gonna rest. So there's three chevrons. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and there we are. So he has three chevrons and we do have this thing so we can move one to another. So I can move this like that, get rid of that red spawn. That's one chevron. He gets one, two, three, four, five. And then he's banished twice. Right, so now we've got to have a look at what we're going to do with his. I think we're going to take True Grit. We're going to take Trailblazing. Actually, where's the other? Oh, we've already got the second bounty hunt. Maybe he needs another, another push. Now I'm going to give him a second push with this fanning thing. So that's his three chevrons done, and he's done his two, his two, uh, whatever it's called, his two actions. Your blamo, everyone gets an extra energy. And bam. Okay. That guy, was that guy? No, this guy's here. Now this bloke here, he's in the station. So he's gonna use his first ability to spend a token and do this. Move a chosen character to his cart and use their skill without spending it. So I'm gonna take, uh, what's his name? Sly boots into the locomotive, but his favor is actually not available. Now, I have read that you can do partial solves, like 
you can still do this even though we're not going to use his ability. We just wanted to move him into the cart because his we know he's not a cultist and his special thing is desires to be in the locomotive, which he now is. So let's flip that over. We get to reveal any missing things. Look, he has the other the other pup. That is excellent news. But because he's not a cultist, we get to do this one. Interesting, they say. Clearly hinted to do so. You ask for details. It looks like we are, you know, <laughs> there's a railroad here. That said, I can navigate us through a safe pass as the tracks don't affect the locomotive as much in the dreamlands. Reveal the next three landscape tiles. Do not place essence there. Do not resolve its on reveal effect. Wow. So the next three tiles, that is awesome. Wow. I mean, that is amazing. That's really going to help. Beautiful. Okay, it's pretty good to uh, resolve those those clues then. That's the first time I've ever done that. Wow, that's huge. I reckon for his next and for his last, uh, his last turn, he's going to activate this and set it to two. Let's get some speed. Okay, and now let's reveal. It is a speed. So it goes up one and bam. So there's one more to go. And finally, we have this girl here. Oh, wait. I've got to move in one more because of the end of his turn. I always forget to do that. This girl is also going to rest. Bam, 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 bam. We have two chevrons. Where is she? She could have healed a panicking thing. So we're going to do upgrades here. I'm going to do rationalization, which is awesome. Field experiment. Remove one. It doesn't matter. That's not a push. And then banish all others in the carriage. That's another really great combat one. I think uh, name a clue, reveal a chosen clue. If it is a named clue, all investigators in your cart gain. Okay, so a named clue is like one of these ones that has the feature cards. I haven't actually, here's a feature card. I can ask about that next turn. We know he's not a cultist, so we can actually ask about that as well and make sure it's fine. Hmm. I don't like this one. It's too hard to do, but I have no passengers. Remove all monsters from limbo. Yeah, let's get that one. So that's one. Let's get nitrous oxide as well. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. <laughs> I like this one. We basically gas everybody and he gets plus five. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I actually haven't used her abilities yet. What she got here? We spend one. That means when we got the plus five, we went to six. And now I can do her ability twice. And this guy's still gonna rest, so let's put these out. And final draw. Bam. Oh, it's a blank. Awesome. So we start resolving this one. Panic person turns insane. Here's the first panic. And then we add an essence to that, that uh, place. Red attacks, no green attacks. So we have two greens. The door is open. There is a wounded. So that wounded person dies. And then he moves. And this Red guy panics. The door is closed, so nothing happens. He just moves. And 
we'll make this guy pink. Okay, so that's the end of that. And a blue spawn. There are no blue monsters over here. There's just the default. So this guy comes out. I haven't seen many blue monsters, actually. And the two reds come off here. I'll just do that while I remember. This does nothing, and this adds another power point. Oh, the ritual is getting powerful. And then this moves one. Okay, so that's two rounds in a row. We've got one of the cultists found. We've killed one of the cultists. Now, I've got the speed on, so we're heading to the end. So basically, I need to speed up with my finds. We've got all this time, right, to just do talks and just reveal clues. And we use that to discuss it. Okie dokie, that's that, and I will see you guys next time.